I bet people are asking you for picture frames all the time. This picture frame is really simple to make. It's held together with pocket holes, and what I've done is use the pocket holes to create a really cool contrast on the show side, on the front of the frame. In this case, I've got maple for the frame. I had a cool piece of jatoba that I used to create the plugs and to create this little insert right here. Because we can custom cut the plugs, you can use anything you want to get that contrast. It's pretty cool. Let's talk about dimensioning so that you can get set up for this in your shop. Here's what you need to do. Take the item that you want to frame, measure its width, that number, let's say it's eight and a half inches. To that, we add the width of our material. I'm using two inch wide stock. So my short pieces are going to be 10 and a half inches long. Across the bottom, same thing. Measure the length, let's say it's 11 inches plus the width of our material gives us the overall length of our long pieces. So when we put this together, this is what it's going to look like and this is where each piece is sort of chasing the other piece in order to create our design. Now keep in mind that the screw pockets, the pocket holes are going to show when we're done, so we want to drill our pocket holes in what will be the front of our material. I've got a stop lock set up so that I can butt against the stop, get my piece in place. Keep in mind we're only drilling in one end of each piece. That takes care of the drilling part. Next thing we'll do, get the frame put together, and then we'll come back to the jig and look at what we have to do to cut our plugs. Assembly is easy peasy. All we have to do is secure the work to the bench. That keeps the surfaces level. Make sure your outside edges are lined up. I'm using inch and a quarter fine thread screws to hold everything together. All right, now, next step. What are we gonna do about those holes? little setup change on our jig and we'll be ready to cut plugs. Now I'll show you what that's going to look like. For cutting your custom plugs, this is pretty cool. We're using the same jig, but I've replaced the insert here. Notice how large the holes are. Those guides are now going to accept this cutter and this is kind of like a coring bit. The outside of course is going to ride through the guide. The inside is going to cut the plug different sizes available depending on which size pocket hole you're using. So our material has already been cut. The owner's manual for this device tells you what to do there. Let's get this mounted up and I'll show you what this looks like. What I'm doing as I look down here is I'm visual aligning the material with the guide hole that I'm about to use. Get my vacuum connected. And that's our plug. Pretty cool, huh? Now in just a second, I'll show you what we need to do to release that plug from our material. But I'm going to go through, I'm going to drill across this face. If the material is thick, this is about a full inch. I can also flip end for end and drill the other face. So that's what I'm going to do.
little different spacing on that side. Didn't quite leave myself room for a fifth one. So that's what our plugs look like. Now, the way they come out of this board is we measure over 3 16 of an inch from the end. Make a line. And this cut is made at 15 degrees. Easiest way to do that is on a bandsaw. I'm going to get the plugs released from this and then we'll come back to our picture frame. Next step is easy peasy. We're just going to put the plugs into the holes. Little glue. Little plug. And then what I like to do just to make sure that that tail end stays down is a little bit of masking tape until the glue dries. Now here's where that's going to leave us. Notice that the plugs are proud of our work. So when the glue is dry, sand those flush. Once those are sanded flush, then we'll come back and have a look at getting that retainer installed inside the frame that's going to actually hold our glass and picture and backing in place. Okie doke, this is set. Gonna watch glue dry and then flush those plugs up. I've got the plug sanded flush. I love this contrast between the Jatoba and the maple. And these retainers are about to go inside here. I've made these a quarter by a quarter inch, did that on the table saw. As an alternative, you could make a retainer that looks like this and fastens to the face gives you the opportunity to cut a little bit larger stick of wood. What I'm going to do with this is kiss it up against that side and then I'm going to mark this side and I'm very intentionally doing the long one first because if I mess up that cut I could use it as a short. Then I've got a little jig here and this will simplify the cutting for me. The mark I just made, I'm going to put that right against the edge of this piece, like that. And then I'm using just a handsaw, a Japanese pull saw, letting the blade ride right down the end grain of this piece. It's just a very simple, low-tech way to get these tiny pieces cut to length. That's the sound of a good fit. Don't really need any glue in there. I'm going to use a 23 gauge pinner to fasten that in place. And then second, third, and fourth verse, same as the first. So I'm just going to repeat the process and then we'll come back and have a look at what it takes to wrap this up and get your picture mounted in here. I think this frame just keeps getting better and better looking. The contrast between the Jatoba and the maple with the plugs and with our insert, our retainer, is very cool. So here's where we're at. I got the rest of the retainers in. I used a round over bit on the outside just to ease that corner. Now to finish this off, you'll take either a piece of glass or a piece of plexiglass, drop that in there after you take the plastic off of it, 
put your image in there. Piece of hardboard is a great way to finish that. How to hold everything in place. Let me show you on this one, because this one's already got finish on it. I don't want to actually put anything in that frame until it's ready. Glazing points are a great way to wrap up your picture frames. So with my glazing point, which is actually designed to hold glass into a window sash, we can slide that against the material, against the frame. And then what I like to do is put some down pressure on a putty knife like that. That's pressing everything against the glass or the acrylic. And then just kind of walk that in to the material. And that's all it takes. If you ever need to change the picture, you can pop that out and you'll be all set. So, no miter picture frame held together with pocket holes. The pocket holes covered with custom plugs that really add a nice detail to the project. Get one of these done, people are going to see them and you're going to be making bunches of them in no time. Mm -hmm.